Welcome to the latest Acuity development update. It is 22nd of June, 2020. I am Jonathan Brown, founder of the Acuity fully decentralized social media platform. And if you're, if you're not currently aware, the Acuity platform is the, the most fully decentralized social media platform currently under development. And it's actually been under development for five years. It's, uh, it currently exists in the form of a uh, Ethereum blockchain with uh, both a, a web app and a, a desktop app. And currently the project is migrating to a substrate blockchain in the Polkadot ecosystem. So the, the project used to be called Mix, M-I-X, and the, the new name is Acuity. So we have a, a new GitHub repository, uh, Acuity Substrate. So this is the repository where um, the, the new substrate blockchain is, is being developed. And if, if you're not familiar with Substrate, this is a blockchain construction kit. So the idea is that it's very easy to plug together some different components and build a, a blockchain that is tailored for the, the purpose that, that you're looking for. And the, the way that Acuity works is that all of the, the core functionality is actually implemented in smart contracts. So we have this new uh, mono repo with all of the smart contracts that are actually currently deployed on the, the Mix Ethereum blockchain. And in order to migrate to the new substrate based platform, uh, I want to actually make uh, a proof of concept demo. And this will have all of the existing smart contracts and uh, you'll be able to use the same desktop and web app to be able to communicate with the platform. So one of the, the most important things is that all of these smart contracts can be deployed onto the new blockchain. <clears throat> so because Substrate is a, a pluggable system, there's actually various different ways that this can be done. So the, the primary way to deploy contracts onto Substrate is using the contracts palette. Uh, with Substrate, there are various different palettes available. You can develop your own palettes. So these are really the, the building blocks of the blockchain. So they have a, a smart contract specific palette and this actually execute was, it executes WASM. So WASM is WebAssembly and uh, Parity, the company behind Substrate and Polkadot, so they are um, advocating a new smart contract language called Inc. So that's based on the, the Rust programming language. But all of the, the contracts that have already been developed for the Acuity platform, they're actually, actually written in Solidity because they were written for, uh, for Ethereum. So we need to somehow be able to take our existing smart contracts and deploy them onto the new substrate blockchain. And there are, there's, there's really two ways that this can be done. So one way which I've investigated is to use the Solang Solidity compiler. So this is a compiler under development. It can take existing Solidity source code and compile it into WASM and it that WASM can then be executed on, on substrate-based blockchains. So in, in theory, this, is, uh, this would be a really great way forward to be able to, um, instead of compiling our smart contracts for the Ethereum virtual machine, we can compile them into WASM and then deploy these smart contracts into the uh, contract palette on the, on the new substrate-based Acuity blockchain. So I've done some experimentation and it seems that this, uh, this compiler, it, uh, it's, it's really great, but it, it needs some, uh, some more development. There's some missing features. So the, uh, our, our mature smart contracts, they actually, they use some features of the Solidity language that is not available in Solang. So this isn't actually an option right now, but maybe later on we will be able to, uh, to switch to compiling our smart contracts with, uh, with Solang and then deploying the 
the contracts into the contracts palette. Uh, fortunately, Substrate has another option. So there's also the EVM palette. So EVM is the Ethereum virtual machine. And the idea with this palette is that we can actually, uh, we can take our existing smart contracts, we can compile them with the standard Solidity compiler uh, into EVM. So this is what you would normally use when deploying smart contracts on Ethereum. But then this, uh, this EVM bytecode, we would then deploy this using the EVM palette. So that seems like a really great way forward to be able to replicate all of the existing functionality that we have in the Ethereum-based blockchain, but get it up and running on a substrate-based blockchain to provide an amazing proof of concept for what this uh, Acuity platform can achieve on substrate and on, on Polkadot. So I'm currently working on deploying this EVM palette into our, our new substrate-based blockchain. However, because this technology is, is so new, there's actually, uh, there isn't uh, solid documentation for how to do this or uh, a good tutorial. However, there is this, uh, there's a great repository by Dan Forbes. So he's actually, He's made a, a substrate demo blockchain and it actually, he's, he's deployed the EVM palette into this blockchain. So this is a great way for me to work out how to deploy the EVM palette into our Acuity substrate blockchain. Um, so we, we can have a quick look and see, see where that is. So this is so this is one of the core things you have to do to add uh, a palette into your substrate blockchain. So we can see we have the the EVM here. <clears throat> um, however, this uh, this repository is a little bit out of date. So we can see uh, four months, eight months, three months, and the I think both substrate and the EVM palette have actually, uh, they've had some changes. So the way that the EVM palette is being deployed in, in this repository, it's actually slightly, slightly out of date. So I'm having to do a little bit more research so that I can uh, deploy the, the latest EVM palette code into the latest substrate blockchain. But uh, that's, that's almost complete. And so once I've done that, then we can have an updated testnet for Acuity running on Substrate. And um, I'll be able to deploy the, the smart contracts <clears throat> and then make some changes to the front end application, the web app and the desktop app uh, to be able to replicate our existing functionality, but running on a Substrate blockchain. And of course, running on Substrate brings so many advantages. So we will have considerably greater um, transaction throughput. And uh, th there's so many incredible features you can add very easily to uh, a substrate blockchain. So we'll be able to have, uh, you know, we'll be able to have a DAO, for example, we can vote on, on blockchain upgrades. So that's, that's where I've got to so far. So it, it seems like we can actually have a, a great uh, demo of all of the Acuity functionality running on Substrate. And then we can uh, actually make the transition. So we will take a, a snapshot of all of the existing balances on the Mix blockchain. And then we will launch a new Acuity-based blockchain. Uh, the cryptocurrency will be renamed from Mix to Acuity. And all of the existing balances will be preserved. And then on the, on the new blockchain, there will actually be a, a lower inf inflation rate because we are moving from a proof of work blockchain to a proof of stake blockchain. Um, so if you, if you want to support the project, if you want to support the work that I'm doing, the best way to do that at the moment is to uh, share this video, but also you can buy the mix cryptocurrency on either the exchanges that I will list below or you can actually purchase Mix from the crowdfund directly from me. So if, if you join the Discord channel for Acuity Social, 
then you can actually you can talk to the community there and you can send me a message if you want to, to buy some mix from the, the crowdfund. So I think that'll do it for today. And I can't wait to bring you another update once I've been able to start deploying the smart contracts into the substrate based blockchain and start hooking up that new functionality um, into the into the application. So thank you very much and talk to you again soon.